Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir. Sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. Men need all the help they can get. Gentlemen, gather round, gather round. My friends, are you ready to change your lives forever? I have something truly extraordinary to show you today. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, twelve... This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Chose Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. It looks like we've been scuppered. Let's get out of here. All right, two right shotgun. For Christ's sake, John, get out of the damn wagon. Got the road clock 
Watch up ahead! Watch up for Ed's butt here! You're just about to get it. Excellent job! Now let's make haste and wait a second! How many more of your happy customers are there? Ignorance is in no short supply around here, Dom. Taylor, I'm not sure we're out of the woods yet. What do these numb skulls expect? Miracles? Well, that's about what you've been promising them. Just drop the gun! It ain't worth it! For a man of the people, you sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. Fine shot, my boy! Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science, John. How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. This would be a bad fight if you could shoot straight! Here Dear boy, you saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Uh, yes, yeah, so perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. What say we try our hand at racing again? There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <laughs> 